Hi, this project includes the theme identity and the way in which we live our lives and come to terms with it. Here are some very dramatic and stylized masks. They have very exaggerated features and stylized shapes. This helps to convey a sense of magic and power as they were used in ritual ceremonies. Picasso looked at African masks and used the simplified faceted um, shapes to give his portraits a much more exaggerated, um, expressive, eerie, almost out of this world quality to them. Around the time of the Cubist art movement, there are a lot of changes and development in machines and science, and they wanted a way of expressing themselves uh, with the changes in society. So they used the sense of breaking up the form, the 3D form, in flat planes, in sections similar to something that you might find in a robot or machine or even a mannequin. The German Expressionists also looked at African masks and they also simplified some of the flat planes and exaggerated some of the features to give their woodcuts a very bold, expressive, powerful feeling to them. Man Machine is another theme through the discovery of photography and film that changed the way that people thought about themselves. Jacob Epstein created the sculpture between 1913 and 1915, around the time of the First World War, and there are many changes and developments with weaponry and machinery at the time. I think this could have had an influence on this war droid from the Star Wars film. In the late 1900s, Raoul Hausmann Thought that photomontage was a new kind of art form that was more comparable to the common people unlike the more traditional type of artwork painting preferred by the upper classes. In the late 1920s Taplin at Home was finished and this represents the condition of the human mind where emotion is controlled by thought unlike what was going on in Europe at the time where he thought that some political figures were making decisions purely on emotion. Tatlin was a painter and constructivist who was devoted for using art for practical purposes. Max Ernst also used photomontage and he used to cut out objects and place them in unexpected ways to create these very imaginative, surreal pieces. Herbert Bayer created this photomontage with these hands, with the all-seeing eyes, that give it a very eerie, ominous feeling to it. Quite often, photomontages like this would influence science fiction films and horror films, similar to this Angel of Death from Hellboy 2, with its strange eyes, all-seeing eyes in the wings, and bone-like structure for the top of the head. The English artist Francis Bacon used photography with his multiple shots of a face from different angles, conveying a sense of movement and very dramatic black and white shadows, emotional quality, with the use of faceting and dislocation of shapes, with the strong shadows and flowing connecting lines that created movement around the form. Students have also used photography through multiple exposures to give a sense of faceting and seeing things from different angles. Photography is another element to the Year 9 project, where students will be expected to take their own portrait photos, experimenting with different kinds of lighting, taking pictures from different angles in which they'll be able to use in their photomontage later. Faces can be printed off from the internet and used in your collage photomontage work. You can also cut out sculptural shapes and placed in unexpected places to change the identity and the meaning of things. You're then going to make a head based on the work of David Schillingmuir. He is a local artist in Barnet who used to go to QE Boys School. David was born of British parents in the Middle East. This may have given him a sense of travel and he's traveled to many countries like Japan, Istanbul, Berlin.
David went to St. Martin's Art College in 2002 and his artwork is based on human nature ranging from the civilised to the monstrous, the articulate and the stupid. The use of graffiti and patterns and strong sense of colour is a good way of expressing himself and the contemporary views of society today.